Hello dear friends, in trick number 227, today I am going to tell you an amazing shortcut through which you will be able to find the highest common factor that is HCF of two or more fractions in a matter of just five seconds. Yes, if you have seen my earlier videos on finding HCF of numbers through a shortcut and also uh, trick number 50 which showed a method to find the LCM of numbers mentally then you can find out the HCF of all these fractions orally as well. Now to illustrate this method I will take two general fractions suppose A upon B and C upon D. Now these are the two fractions whose HCF is to be found out. Now HCF of these two fractions A upon B and C upon D will be obtained by finding the HCF of the numerators. So HCF of A comma C and also by finding the LCM of the denominators B comma D. So we need to use both the concepts here HCF as well as LCM to find the HCF of the fractions. Now let us uh, try and understand this using a simple example of 1 by 8 and 3 upon 4. Now in this case the HCF will be the HCF of the numerators that is 1 and 3 and the LCM of the denominators that is 8 and 4. Very easy, 1 and 3 they do not have a common factor between them so the HCF will be 1 and 4 and 8, 4 and 8. Now see 4 divides 8 exactly so just neglect 4, the LCM of 4 and 8 will be 8. So the HCF of 1 by 8 and 3 by 4 is 1 by 8. Now similar procedure can be used to find the HCF of different questions. Now see in this case HCF will be the HCF of 4 and 8 that is the numerators and the LCM of the denominators that is 5 and 15. Now you see 4 and 8 in case of 4 and 8 the common factor is 4 itself because 4 contains in its table it contains 8 so the common factor has to be 4 so highest common factor of 4 and 8 is 4 and again 5 and 15 5 is a divisor of 15 so just neglect 5 you get 15 as the LCM of these two numbers so 4 upon 15 is the required HCF now apply this here see HCF is now for, for 49 and 21 if you want to find the highest common factor now see 49 and 21 they are contained in the table of 7 so 7 into 7 and 7 into 3 so only 7 is the common factor so highest common factor is 7 that is the highest common factor of the numerators and for the denominators 20 and 50 you need to find the LCM of 20 and 50 now see 20 does not divide 50 exactly so just take multiples of 50 what is the next multiple of 50 it is 100 so 20 divides 100 exactly so 100 will be the LCM of the denominators 20 and 50 so your final answer the HCF is 7 upon 100 likewise here you have the numerators as 15 and 25 so if you take 15 and 25 now you need to find the highest common factor not 25 is 5 into 5 and 15 is 5 into 3 so common factor is only 5 so HCF is 5 and for the denominator 16 and 24 you need to find the LCM now see 
16 does not divide 24 exactly so just take multiples of 24 next multiple is 48 now 16 3 is a 48 so 48 is the LCM of the denominators so your final answer HCF of these two fractions is 5 upon 48 now you can repeat this method for finding the HCF of more than two fractions also now these are three fractions now now you need to find the HCF of three numbers 9 3 and 5 now see when you have numbers 9 3 and 5 see 3 is a prime number 5 is a prime number and the factors of 9 are 3 and 3 so obviously there is no common factor between them so the highest common factor of 9 3 and 5 is 1 and for finding the LCM obviously you can utilize the shortcut now 4 10 and 12 these are the three denominators so 4 10 and 12 now you see 4 divides 12 exactly so 4 you can leave now only the two numbers left behind are 10 and 12 now 10 does not divide 12 exactly so take multiples of 12 now so obviously you need to find a multiple of 12 which is divisible by 10 so 12 5 is a 60 so if you take the multiples then only the first multiple 60 will be divisible by 10 so the LCM of these three numbers is 60 so your final answer is 1 upon 60 similar method to be used in another question see now HCF of you need to find the HCF of the three numerators here the numerators here are 18 54 and 30 now you need to find the highest common factor now see 18 is 2 into 3 into 3 54 3 into 3 into 3 is 27 into 2 54 and 30 3 into 10 so 3 into 2 into 5 now if you see 3 into 2 3 into 2 3 into 2 all the three numbers contain a common factor 6 and nothing else is common so HCF of the numerators is 6 and now you need to find the uh, LCM of the denominators so 7, 35 and 49 now for finding the LCM again you see 7 divides 49 or 7 divides 35 also so 7 can be neglected you have only two numbers now 35 and 49 between 35 and 49 obviously 7 is a common factor so what is left behind is 35 divided by 7 is 5 and 49 divided by 7 is 7 so now 5 and 7 they are uh, they are prime numbers so your final answer will be 7 into 5 into 7 which is 35 into 7 now 35 into 7 is 5 2 4 so 240 5 which is the denominator of your final answer now you see we have found out the HCF of all these fractions using the simple concept of finding the HCF of the numerators in the numerator of the answer and finding the LCM of the denominators in the denominator of the answer in our subsequent uh, video we will understand how we can utilize this method and extrapolate it to find the LCM of fractions. So wait for that video. Till then keep learning, keep subscribing and share the videos if you like it.